The White House slammed China over the weekend for what it called Orwellian nonsense. That came after Beijing's official aviation agency sent out a warning to 36 foreign airlines, including U.S. carriers, demanding they no longer suggest that Taiwan, Hong Kong or Macau are separate from mainland China on their websites or else face punishment. On Saturday, the White House chimed in, calling it an attempt by China's Communist Party to impose, quote, Chinese political correctness on American companies and citizens. Beijing hit back the next day, saying companies must, quote, respect China's sovereignty. Translation, too bad, that's the cost of doing business. Taiwan is China's most sensitive territorial issue. Beijing considers the democratic island a wayward province. Hong Kong and Macau, on the other hand, were once European colonies that are now part of China, but are largely run independently. And, you know, we did a thing called tariffs. And the tough talk from the White House comes amid rising tension over trade with Beijing. Last week, talks on the issue ended with few breakthroughs. My group just got back from China. We're going to have to rework trade with China because that's been a one-way street for decades. Saturday marks the toughest talk yet from the United States over pressure on foreign companies to step in line with Beijing. In January, Delta followed a demand from China to take down website listings for Taiwan and Tibet as countries. That same month, Beijing punished Marriott Hotels. The company had listed Tibet, Taiwan, Hong Kong and Macau as countries in a customer questionnaire. And its Chinese website was suspended for a week.